what's up guys it's a new day new experiment and this project has extreme danger written all over it now here's the basic idea we've seen in previous videos that we could take coke bottles and fill them up with liquid propane and liquid butane cap them off and they would eventually pressurize but they wouldn't explode but that's probably because the outside air temperature isn't enough to get the gas hot enough to overpressure the bottle so for this experiment today i thought it might be fun to use my blowtorch to help heat things up a little Here's the basic idea of the experiment. We're gonna take two 500 milliliter Coke bottles and empty them out. We'll fill one of them up with liquid propane, the other one with liquid butane. We'll cap them off and let them warm up to temperature. After they've settled down and we've had a chance to observe the differences, we'll take a propane torch and gently set these bottles into the heat. What's gonna happen? Well, they're probably gonna explode, but the question is when and how dramatically. Finding that out is the purpose of this video today. Now we know that when it comes to liquid butane and liquid propane, pressurated Coke bottles hold up no problem. But how will a water bottle react? These things explode at about 60 to 65 PSI, which is about half the vapor pressure of both of those gases. So just for fun, I'm thinking, why don't we fill up these bottles and see if we can get them to explode on their own? Now to fill up the bottles with propane, we're gonna use this modified tip we made in a previous video. Simply open the valve and turn it upside down and let it drip into the bottle. Butane is even easier. We just turn it upside down, use something like a pair of pliers to grab the tip and press it in. Let's go ahead and release the valves and fill these bottles up. Water bottles are not pressurated like soda bottles, so I don't expect they'll be able to hold up. I'm only gonna fill them up about halfway and cap them off, and let's watch what happens. So check this out, guys. We have equal levels of propane and butane. These are filled up exactly the same. So if we cap them off, which one do you think is going to explode first? Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? That was not expected. The butane just popped its top. It looked like it was just chilling there, no problem, having fun, not doing anything. It was the propane I was thinking was gonna go off, and all of a sudden, boom, butane shoots up in the air. These are holding up a lot longer than I thought they were going to, so I think I'm just gonna turn the propane, put it closer to the flame, and see if we can get it to explode. Oh yeah, you can see it swelling. Look at the top there, it's swelling up like a balloon. There it goes. Wow! It actually put out the propane torch, look at this. It's just hissing now, it actually put out the flame. Oh my goodness, that was unreal. Look at this bottle. That is annihilated. So that was kind of interesting guys, we couldn't get the bottles to explode right away, but when I moved the propane closer to the flame, you could see it balled up like a balloon and then erupted. And it went off like a gunshot and we could hear the sound ricocheting off the mountains behind us, and this is the damage. Think about this guys, all that flammable gas and it actually put out the flame on my blowtorch. Mind blowing. So check it out guys, we've left these bottles out for about 25 minutes. They've both warmed up to outside air temperature and holding them both in hand, the first thing I notice is the propane is a lot more pressurized than the butane. Butane has a lower vapor pressure apparently than propane does. This thing's getting pretty hard. In fact, it's making me a little bit nervous. You might be wondering about how heavy these feel and holding them side by side, it feels to me like the butane might be just a touch heavier, but there is just a tiny bit more liquid in there as well. Other than that, they really feel like they're about the same weight. So what we're gonna do now is strike up the flame on my propane torch and gently set these bottles into the heat so we can observe what happens to the liquid in a pressurized bottle when it's put under extreme temperature. Let's go with propane first. Moment of truth, guys. Pressurized bottle of propane versus blowtorch. Let's do this. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? 
The bush is on fire. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was amazing. So I didn't see what happened, but some burst of flames went off, so I thought the bottle exploded. I came to check it out, and then boom! Huge, big fireball. I didn't even see it, I was running away, but I felt the flames at my back. That was incredible. Blowtorch versus bottle of propane, Blowtorch wins. Propane, epic success, butane is next. I love this little rock here. It works kind of like a blast shield, that's perfect. So last time I had the bottle sitting here and I set the propane torch into position. I think this time I'm gonna get the propane torch going and set the bottle in and then take off from there. That seems a little bit safer to me, especially now that we know the size of these fireballs can be. All right, let's light it up. Wow, holy heck. Wow, oh my God, that was instant. That was instant, I didn't even have time to run away. It was just like place the bottle and boom, everywhere. And I didn't see if that made a huge fireball or not because I was ducking and running, but I can smell the vapor. Here's the rest of the bottle, look at that. Blew it wide open. Man, that didn't take anything. One little lick of the flame, and boom. That was nuts. I'm glad I got my hand out of the way in time. Do you see how much vapor came off of that? All of that vaporized gas, but there was so much pressure that it actually blew the flame out on my propane torch before it had a chance to ignite. That is mind-blowing to me. So guys, we started this experiment today with the knowledge that we could fill up plastic soda bottles with liquid propane and liquid butane. And at reasonable atmospheric temperatures, they won't explode. So we tried filling up water bottles as well, which are made of a much thinner plastic. And surprisingly, they held up pretty well, but in the end, they did go off. We noticed that over time, both the propane and the butane bottles warmed up to the point where all the frost melted off. To get things a little bit more heated, we fired up my propane torch and stuck the bottles individually into the propane flame. As soon as the bottle full of propane touched the flame, we saw the liquid started boiling and a small pinhole developed which released a little gas. It didn't take much longer though before the entire bottle exploded and flames went everywhere. Now the butane was a little bit different. It looked all calm and beautiful on the surface, but it was so highly pressurized that the second we touched it to a flame, it went off with a bang. The interesting thing about that reaction is that it blew up with such force that it blew out the flame on the propane torch and none of the vapors ignited. I was not expecting that. So in conclusion guys, yes it is possible to store these liquids in plastic soda bottles, but it is extreme danger. As the temperature of the environment rises, the pressure in the bottles build and eventually they will explode. If there's any kind of open flame in the room, sometimes it'll go up in a big fireball, sometimes the flame will go out. But that's probably not a chance you really want to take. But the purpose of this video was to do just that, to play with extremely flammable gases under pressure with an open flame. Thanks for joining me for this video, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Hey, good news is we got the fire out. <laughs>